Welcome back, True Seeker, November 12th, 2022. And tonight, the breaking news, the Democrats maintain control of the Senate, securing their 50th seat. And what's funny about this is the woman who's won is Catherine Cortez Masto in Nevada, born March 29th, 1964. The election is called for her on her 229th day of her age. And of course, that's the 50th prime number. And again, why did it take Nevada so long to count the votes? It's not even that big of a state. Like I've been explaining to you guys for years, it's all ritual, it's all number games. They wait until the 229th day of her age, the 50th prime to give the Democrats the 50th seat, which means they control the Senate. And of course, we are the land of 50 states where in Gematria, America equals 50. And keep in mind, Washington and Jesuits also equate to 50. And it just so happens that this big decisive win comes on the leader of the Jesuits birthday, Arturo Sosa. And if you don't know who the Jesuits are, again, it's only because your schools did a great injustice to you. The Jesuits have controlled Washington, D.C. for longer than the federal government being there. Also, if you're new here, you should research this knowledge. You'll understand why they do this. But anyhow, a big number in D.C. is 47. There's two states that equal 47, Nevada and Ohio. She wins in Nevada, in Gematria, Nevada, government, authority, Republican, Democrat, White House, President, D.C., they all have that Gematria 47. Of course, Biden was the 47th VP, took office with 47-year-old Obama. Trump equals 47, who said he'd done more in 47 months than Biden had done in 47 years. But yeah, ultimately, the thing to show your friends and family is on the 229th day of her age, they finally finished counting the votes in Nevada with no explanation for why it took so long. But again, you learn the code of what's really going on. You'll see how rigged and ritualistic these elections are. It's this way every single time. You can prove it all day. And um, if you think it's a coincidence, well, you're a product of the deliberate dumbing down of America, and you should revisit the videos where I've been reading from that book. Until next time.